I'm Jasmine. I'm Hazel. Hi, Lana. You're all gorgeous. I don't know who to pick. Um. Let me quickly explain what's happening for any new viewers. I have been in Elko, Nevada for a couple days now, and I'm really starting to feel familiar with the town. I absolutely love it here. It's small, quiet, and so, so charming. And the people here have been nothing but nice to me. Elko is called the Red Light District of Nevada because on one block, there are four different brothels. And I had been lucky enough to get exclusive access to explore three of the four active brothels there. How did you even think of owning a brothel? I try to keep quiet about it. How old were you when you first decided to get into like sex work as a job? 18. How did your parents find out that you work here? They finally got the courage to come and try to do an intervention. I'm getting like anxiety even hearing the story. Like imagine being that being your job. Why not? I don't know. Kind of dirty. Are people mad at you for owning something that you're making money off of women having sex? But today, we are switching things up. We are headed around the block to the Desert Rose Brothel, and trust me, my time here wasn't like anywhere else I've ever been. How are you? Pretty good. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for having me. No, absolutely. Sure. Do you mind if I turn the camera on you? Uh, I mean, you can, sure. Yeah, <laughs> people will be interested in seeing who I'm talking to. Yeah, fair enough. Come on in, man. Okay. We have seven rooms. Besides, we have like the hot tub and the steam shower rooms. I'm Jasmine. And I'm, I'm Hazel. Hazel. Nice to meet you both. Thank you for spending time with me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you for spending time with us. I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. Will you give me like a play by play? <laughs> so he picked you from the lineup. Yeah. We went on tour, explained how things work. I think he's looking for other services that I don't provide myself. Everybody here does their own, you know, whatever they feel comfortable doing. So she referred him to another lady because we all support each other here. We're not going to do anything we don't mm -hmm. want. So whatever he wanted, she doesn't provide. So she's not going to like just do it just for the money. Good. If a girl like specializes like in certain fetish, then like I'll know, and if it's okay with the girl, uh, you know, she'll be like yeah, send me my way. Then I'll be like yeah, no, but this one knows. And so we, you know, we try to take take care of each other. Welcome. Thank you. This is our uh, hot tub room. Gorgeous. Hot tub experience. Mm -hmm. I love it. Rub-a-dub-dub. Like girls a in a tub. There we go. Yeah, I feel like guys that are like more into, I don't know, talking about their divorce or just like taking their time more in an intellectual connection, they like spending their time more outside of the room, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like enjoying the feminine company. More of a full, maybe. intimate experience. Yeah. Are you allowed to have sex in here or...? Or That's independently with the lady. I rather just do things in the room, but there's certain people that they're like, you know, their fantasies to have sex in the bar. So you're like legally allowed to have sex in here. It just depends on if the lady wants to. Yeah, know. it's the condom okay, situation, cool. and we always sanitize everything with bleach afterwards mm -hmm. and stuff, so everything's like, you know, clean and clear. I was so excited to meet you, and you're so gorgeous. And thank you. I appreciate you admiring. <laughs> admiring your beauty. You're very cute too. You're definitely gay, are you? Yes. Okay. I'm <laughs> I can't tell. What if I was like, no? But yeah, my best friend is gay and I just love you people. Maybe oh, thank you. Maybe that's why we connect yeah. so much. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Do you mind me asking? I'm Latina. I'm from Costa Rica originally. What made you want to move here? I had been through a divorce. Uh, I yeah. had like a job situation that wasn't going anywhere. Um, no family support. That was like a very, you know, main one. Did you come here with the intentions of working at a brothel? Yes, yes, yeah. How did you find out about brothels? I started doing my research and, you know, found out that it was legal to work over here and, you know, in a safe environment. So I did like that a lot. I had done sex work before, so I did have the experience. So I don't think I was as nervous as not having the experience like a lot of people have. Oh, that's fascinating. Can we talk about that a bit? So yeah, I, I did sex work in Costa Rica, it's, it's legal. Were you working at a brothel or were you working independently? Independently, mostly. I feel like that would be scarier than working at a brothel. Down there, there's like places where it's just like hotels that, you know, they're known for going and working. There's the security during, you know, in the hotel and stuff. Obviously, everybody's playing a risk. The clients also from the ladies. Money-wise, it's way better here. Down there, it's cheapened because there's like, you know, it's legal, so a lot of people do it. There's more competition for sure. 
people from other countries go down there to also work in it. So everybody's just hustling everywhere, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody's trying to survive and get their bags. Back here is like the back of the bar. We've created a, like a little private area. Um, some people just want to get like a lap dance and stuff. But we are promoted also like a gentleman's club, I guess. Most of the ladies dance and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of like halfway. Some people are like nervous to go full. Yeah. Experience and stuff. This brothel acts as a strip club too, you're saying, right? Yeah. It depends on the girls. There's some girls that they don't offer the dances. There's some that just do private or they dance outside on stage. So it just depends on the ladies that are at the house. How about you specifically? Are you a dancer? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to pay the house for your tips that you make no. as dancing. No. You know, anything that we make pretty much on stage is ours. On the brothel side, if it's like over $150, then I, I, it's when the house like takes a, a part. How many girls are currently here right now? Uh, Sage, Hazel, Lana, Autumn, and myself. So you don't ever like scout talent and find girls to come? No, that's not. not no, we can't legally do that first of all they have to apply because then that can kind of fall into like the trafficking issues mm -hmm. yeah so they have to apply 100 percent of them themselves we, you know we can't just pose like strip clubs i think they can do that like you know come work over we can't because of that i saw the, your uh, mustang ranch one yeah what do you think i, I was hoping i meant that you weren't just looking to be one side like oh it's so dark and terrible and everybody's a pimp or you were or not trying to you know either way that's honestly not my experience though like every girl i've met wants to be here loves what they do and so it's, you know, that's been my experience. Every brothel I've been to, I've been like fascinated by the entrepreneurship of the ladies that work here. Yeah, I'm so glad that you noticed that. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. And you come here a lot too? Do you mind me talking to you or not? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah, I do come here to drink. Good. So, yeah. It's, it's great. I mean, I, I love it in here. It's nice. I get it. Talking to beautiful women, yeah. hanging out. Yeah. It's awesome. It's yeah. Nice, thank you. I stepped into the bathroom to, of course, go to the bathroom, but also just to take a moment to myself. You know, I've been to five brothels before and never has a man visiting allowed me to film him. I was getting the feeling that my time at Desert Rose was going to bring a lot of firsts. And just as I left the bathroom, I noticed Jasmine in the middle of a strip dance. Her and the man allowed me to film, and after their dance, I learned that he was a former client of hers and is now her boyfriend. I needed to talk to him. So you're Jasmine's boyfriend? Yeah. I'm just interested to hear what it's like dating someone that works at a brothel. It's different. So it started out with a client relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then exactly. when, that's fascinating because when does it become not a client relationship anymore? It was weird because like I, in the time that I got to know her at the brothel, I guess I had grown somewhat attached. And so I was dealing with my own personal issues. I kind of called her like my safe space. So she provided comfort in a time when I was not very comfortable. Mm. And then do you remember when you were like, okay, it's done, he's not a client anymore, he's now my boyfriend. I started like texting him like a little bit too, like, hey, you should come over. So I didn't know if I was just like trying to be a gold digger or right. what. Then he asked me one night if I was down to play a game online. And that's how we started like getting closer, I guess. <laughs> I love That's it. That's how it started, yeah. You manage? So I'm manager slash owner also. At Wait. This point. <laughs> Wait, wait. Is that why you're saying you're transitioning from working lady? Because you're yes. becoming, yeah. you invested into the business. Yes, I've invested a lot of time and, you know, be op having an open business for eight years. It's, you know, it takes a team for sure. So are you thinking in like a certain amount of time you're going to not, you're going to step away from being a working lady and just be manager and owner? Yeah, I, yeah, I do want to get to that point And I love to have a house that, you know, gives the girls the space and the, the freedom to have their own boundaries when it comes to you know doing this type of job okay, i'm happy that you know you're saying that there's an end goal for you and then you'll just you won't do that anymore and yeah like out. obviously i did this out of survival when people ask me like so what made you do this like oh i was just this rich girl that had nothing to do and i showed up over here mm -hmm. you know it's like mm -hmm. it's, it's like obviously that you mm -hmm. know when you don't want to like at least not myself i know 
I'm not gonna be like putting myself to explain all mm-hmm. the details in my life. Mm-hmm. So I was saying like money. I do yes. think it's great to have like a lady involved in the upper management because mm-hmm. You know, yeah. guy, guys can only understand so much mm-hmm. about a woman, and mm-hmm. having a woman there to be like, I understand and I got you. Like that, yeah. that's good. That's important. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely, absolutely. It, the safety of the girls and the girls feeling good about you know everything in the house. It's very important for us. When do you think you're going to be done being a working lady? I'm looking hopefully within one, two years. I also do like OnlyFans. I started doing it with the pandemic and I already have the experience in the industry. So I liked it more being online than, you know, in person it's, easier, it's le- yeah. less heavy, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like there's a mental toll that takes on you from this job? Clients, sometimes they dump a lot of like energetically. It could be like, you know, sometimes heavy conversations about like things that happen to them or just like a rough party that you're like, oh, I messed this guy up, <laughs> you know? So it, it, it can take a lot of those things. So I think that, um, yeah, I don't want to do this as long, but I do want to have like a safe environment for other women to work as comfortable as I've been working.